How to make cutouts of your stickers and logos in Midjourney with refined edges. Start by generating your sticker or logo in Midjourney by using the slash imagine prompt. Just enter a text prompt for the type and style of image you want. I'm going to be making a sticker cutout for this tutorial. Upscale the image you want to create a cutout for and save it to your computer. To save it as a PNG file, right click on the image, then select save image. Navigate to the folder you want to save it in and save it as a PNG file. To create a cutout, we'll use PhotoP. It's free to use with no sign up needed. The link will be in the description. At PhotoP, select the new project option. Make sure you are using at least 300 dpi to make high resolution cutouts. You should also change the size of the project to fit your needs. I'm going to go with 5 by 5 inches. Click create. Now just drag your saved file into the project and press enter. A quick note about navigating the interface. To zoom in and out, hold down the Alt key and scroll your main mouse wheel. To drag the image around, press the hand button tool and then click and drag. We'll need to rasterize your image to make the cutout, so right click on the image layer and select rasterize. Now to select a rough draft of the cutout, use the quick selection tool. This tool works by slowly dragging your mouse over the object you want to select. This may take a few tries. If you ever need to restart your selection, just press Ctrl D to deselect everything. You can click on the quick mask button to get a preview of your selection. If you zoom in, you may find that the selected region is not perfect and you need to add or remove some pixels from your selection. Before we go ahead and refine our selection, we can smooth out the edges a bit and remove any unnecessary border pixels. Go to the Select Toolbar menu, go down to Modify, and click the Smooth option. This will smooth out the edges a bit. I'll use 5 pixels. If you need to shrink the borders of the selection a bit to remove any edge pixels, go to Select, Modify, Contract. This will shrink the selection a bit and clean up any border pixels that don't belong on the sticker or logo. I'll use 2 pixels. Finally, to refine your selection, go to the Select drop down menu at the top toolbar and click on Refine Edge. This will bring up the Edge Refinement tool. On the left is the entire image and on the right is your current selection. Navigating this window is the same as before. Press and hold Alt and scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Click on this hand tool to drag the image around. You can change the background color on the right by toggling between these three colors, default, white, and black. Now to add and remove pixels, we need to use the image on the left. To add pixels, select the white square here. This will bring up the brush tool, which is the circle on the screen. Our brush is way too big right now, so to make it smaller, use the drop down menu for brush size and select the size you want. Now just use a brush to paint over the pixels you want to add in the left image. You should see the right image being updated simultaneously with the newly added pixels. To remove any pixels, simply select the black square and paint over the pixels you would like to remove. Don't worry if you mess up and remove too much. Just select the white square again and add the pixels back with your brush. The gray square is the unknown tool. If you paint using this tool, PhotoP will automatically try to determine what to include in your selection from the painted region. This could be useful if you have difficult areas to select, like fur or hair. Once you're finished refining your selection, click OK. PhotoP will create a new layer just with your selection. To visualize it, you can turn off the visibility of the other layers. If you're happy with your cutout, go to File, Export As, and select the output format you need. You can check the downloaded file and see that it saved the cutout you want. And that's it for this tutorial.